In this video, I'm going to use LEGO to recreate and test over 10 trendy, popular, and iconic childhood toys. Let the challenge begin. The first toy that I want to build is a Nerf gun. So for reference, here's a Fortnite pistol that shoots single foam bullets. So I'm going to try building my own Nerf gun in LEGO. So I made this working trigger using a rubber band. And I want this thing to be colorful so it looks just like a real Nerf gun. To use the gun, you basically pull this sliding piece in the back and it locks into place until you pull the trigger. And that will let this piece slip. And and push the bullet out the gun. Oh yeah, I'm about to take all those up now with this. But I want to put this gun to the test, so I built three different targets out of Lego, and let's try shooting them down. Huh? What the heck is this? My favorite toy aside from Lego are Hot Wheels, and I actually love collecting these. So how about we try building these in Lego? I want the size to be very similar to an actual Hot Wheel, so I built this tiny red sports car that's only four studs wide. And I want to put this thing to the test, so I copped a bunch of these Hot Wheel tracks that connect, and I built a giant ramp going down my stairs with a big loop and a jump at the end. And, okay, alright, it's going, it's going. Let's see if it can finish this course. Come on, make the jump at the end. Let's go! Another popular toy are Barbies. Fun fact, but over 20 years ago, Lego sold a bunch of these figures that look just like Barbies. Lego stopped selling these a while ago, so I went ahead and bought this used one off the internet. And to prove that this is Lego, it literally connects to it. They're a lot bigger than a normal Lego minifig, and they also have lots of joints. But I want to build this Barbie her own dream home. First, I'm going to build the outside of the house, so I added this large window with flowers and this pink door. Now, pink seems to be a popular Barbie color, so turning the build around, I'm going to make the the inside of the house where almost everything in here is pink. I feel so zesty building this right now. There's a couch, dining area, this kitchen with a refrigerator, sink, and an oven with a chicken being cooked inside. And I want to give our Barbie girl a hobby, so here's an art easel where she can paint. Also, I searched the internet and I caught this knockoff Barbie themed Lego set. Basically, it's a giant pink car. It's made from almost a thousand pieces, and it's actually the perfect size to fit the minifig we bought earlier. Oh my gosh, this whip be looking so fresh. Also, I really am playing with a Barbie toy right now as a grown man. But come on, y'all, I did it for the content. Oh no, we need car insurance. Wow, the car and the house actually look really good together. This would actually make a hard album cover. A remote-controlled car is another popular toy. But to my surprise, LEGO actually made their own version of one. So I bought this discontinued $100 Lego set. Basically, it's a small dune buggy with giant off-road tires. It's very bouncy, and it's got a battery box with a computer inside. And using an app on your phone, you can actually connect to the thing and control it. So I brought it outside, and let's test to see how good this thing is. Okay, let's see if it can handle this ramp. Let's go! Yes, okay, what about this one? Wow, that was a lot of fall damage. Also, my GoPro just cracked. Okay, for this next test, let's see if it can drive over a pile of Lego bricks. Go, go, go. Nope. We're gonna need to get some speed on this one. And for this final experiment, I'm gonna drive the thing down this playground slide. Let's hope there's not a kid in here. Here it comes. Okay, after all that building, I need to go outside, and also I need more ideas. So I ran to the store to see what toys they have. What the heck is this? Doo-doo kangaroo. What do kids play with now these days? Then I used my mom's credit card and took them back to the studio. Wow, I feel like Ryan's toys reviews right now. The first toy that I bought at the store were Beyblades. Basically, they're tiny spinners that can fight with each other. Then they break apart when they die. Point! And after searching the internet, I found these small tops from old Lego Ninjago sets. Basically, you take two of them, put a minifig on each one, let them spin, and the minifigs will actually fight each other. But they keep falling off my table, which is really annoying. So instead, I'm gonna build my own custom Lego battle arena, and now they can fight with each other. Dang, the old wise man keeps winning. I think he's the dragon warrior. Another toy is a magic eight ball. Basically, you ask it a question, shake it, and then it'll tell you an answer. I wanna make one of these myself in Lego, so I built this round black ball. And inside is a slot to put this two-sided plate, green for yes and red for no. And when you shake the ball, it flips on a random side. So all we have to do now is just ask it a question. Do I have good riz? Nope. Another toy are G.I. Joes. Basically, they're these tiny green plastic army men. And Lego actually makes their own. They come from this old Toy Story set. Uh-oh, I'm starting to get flashbacks. These are like those toys that kids make epic imaginary battles with. And using a piece of paper and some dental floss, I built this parachute. Okay, let's see where bro drops. 
This next toy is called a tech deck. Basically, it's a tiny skateboard that you use with your fingers. I built a simple one in Lego using a few plates and some car wheels without the tires, and it actually works pretty well. But to take this to another level, I'm gonna build a complete skate park for it with some railing to practice my balancing skills and a giant half pipe that I built using this bendable base plate. Call me the Lego Tony Hawk. Another simple toy that I found at the store is a yo-yo. But instead of spending $10 to buy one of these at the store, what if you can build one for free? reusing Lego pieces you have at home. So I found these giant dish pieces and taking multiple of them, I built a simple Lego yo-yo design that we can now attach string to and now we can test it out. Perfect! Yeah, I'm pretty crusty because I've never used a yo-yo before, but it looks like this thing actually works. Another popular toy is a Tonka truck, basically a small construction vehicle like this dump truck. Now I want to build my own Tonka truck in Lego, so let me cook real quick. <gasps> Oh, yes! This thing has a giant dump truck bed in the back, and I think this is one of the biggest Lego pieces I've ever seen. But after taking this thing outside, it actually works just like a real dump truck, so I'm very happy. This is probably what Lego people use to build their great cities. Now, before we build our final but coolest Lego item, here's a quick speed round of other small toys that I built in Lego. This first one is a Kinder Egg. Oh, sorry. Basically, a chocolate egg that has a toy inside. So I built this tiny hollow one in brown to make it look like chocolate chocolate and there's something inside. Ooh, look at that, we got a shiny crystal. I also built this Uno reverse card using different shapes and sizes of plates and one of those games for babies where you're supposed to put the different shapes in the corresponding holes. I'm accepting scholarships, Harvard. I also built this life-size Lego boomerang using plate pieces. No! It got stuck in the tree. And I also built a pet rock. Yeah, pretty boring. Fidget spinners are another popular toy, and I built three of them. This first one looks like a ninja star. This one literally looks like it's on fire. And this last one was also the easiest to make because it just uses mini figs. And finally, this next toy is about to get physical. Because using a long strip of tiny bricks, I'm gonna build a hula hoop. This is extremely illegal. And now we just have to see if this thing will actually work like one. I'm a pro. Come on, let's go! No! Okay, the thing's extremely flimsy, so it doesn't really work. And for this final toy, I want to build a working Lego Rubik's Cube. I tried building one of these a while back, but failed miserably. But my boy Puzz Lego actually built a working Rubik's Cube himself, and he's letting me try his design. So for the different colors on the cube, I'm going to use these small plates. And after building all the pieces needed to make this cube, we can put it together and see if it works. Not gonna lie, it's still pretty fragile, but it actually works like a real Rubik's Cube. So that's a big W. Okay, let's try solving it. No! <laughs> wow, well, after acquiring all these toys, I feel like I'm Andy from Toy Story. Thanks for giving me the excuse to buy these, by the way. That way I can feel like a kid again. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. You're a Lego girl, got a plastic heart. Think I missed a step, hit the